Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. We are from four and today we will give presentation about implementation of biological agents to control pest and disease in corn plant. Uh, before we start, let me introduce our member. First, Viana Kusmawardhani with study number 107. Then Adni Jelang Milani, study number 190. Exita Kusuma, study number 204. And Abil Milsam, uh, study number 229. Okay, background. According to the Indonesian Central Bureau of Statistics, misproduction in Indonesia is slow. Uh, and as for the DE region, uh, according to BPS data from the DE province, corn production uh, decreased in 2015. Uh, one of the obstacles faced in corn cultivation activities is the presence of pests and diseases that can reduce corn production. And so far, the control of pests and disease in corn plant mostly still relies on chemical pesticide, and this is not good for the environment because it can pollute the environment and create resistant pests. And the use of biological agent as a substitute for chemical pesticide needs to be do- needs to be done to minimize the negative impact. Of the chemical pesticide. Okay, this is uh, what we will discuss today. Uh, first, we will discuss about corn plant, and then biological control agents and biological pest and disease control in maize crop. Okay, corn plant. Uh, corn plant is an annual crop in one life cycle occurs for 80 to 150 days the first half of the cycle is vegetative growth stage and the second half is the generative growth stage corn is a type of green food crop or cereal from the grass family corn is widely known by the indonesian people because this type plant can be used as a staple food substitute for rice and various kind of processed food. In addition, part of the corn plant can also be used as animal feed such leaf, stem, husk, and cob. Corn plant grow in the lowlands to hike up to 100 and 200 and 1,200 meters above sea level. Uh, require clay soil media, sandy loam, volcanic soil, fertile, loose, rich in organic matters. Requires at least 8 hours of sunlight per day. Air temperatures 20 to 33 degrees Celsius. Rainfall medium, soil pH uh, 5.5 to 7 with good drainage. Biological control again. Biological control is a natural phenomenon that consists of regulating the number of species by natural enemies, which constitute the again of biotic mortality. Thus, all living beings have natural enemies attacking their various states of life. Among these, there are quite diversified groups such as insects, viruses, fungi, bacteria, nematodes, mites, and spiders. Abreu et al. 2015. Nowadays, the biological control is indispensable in the integrated pest management program because it combines cultural and chemical practice for resistant management with real gains in green yields. This tool is the way that rationalizes the control of pest insect of crops with natural process and the rational use of agricultural pesticide for pest control. Simonato et al. 2014 Biological pest and disease control in maize crop The first one are corn stem borer. This pest attacks all parts of the corn plants and in heavy attacks the yields loss can reach 80%. <coughs> Newly attacks larva are yellowish white, fit on the move. Young larvae eat the tips of male flowers or panicles 
and after advance in star will grow corn stalks. Symptoms of this pest attack in the form of small holes in the leaves, slit in the stem, male flowers are the base of the cup so that the stem and tassel are easily broken. One of the most commonly used biological control for the control of Lepidoptera in mice is Trichogramma sp. The female individual of this parasitoid lays her eggs inside the egg of the plague and the, and the end of the biological cycle emerges the adult. <coughs> The great differential in favor of the exclusive biological control again of eggs consists in the reduction of the population of the pest, preventing injury to the plant, being efficient in the pest controls Podoptera frugiperda, Helicoverfasea, Helicoverpa armigera, Diatreae saccharalis, Elasmopalpus lichenocellus. In the parasitism of the eggs of Agrotis ip, Psyllan, Trichogramma pretisome, and Trichogramma atopoviarilaya stand out demonstrating high potential for use in pest management. The main strategy used to combat Spedoptera frugiperda is the use of corn hybrids, which express a type of insecticide protein called Bt. Junha 2017. This bacterium is effectively toxic to the insect of the order Coleoptera and Lepidoptera. Being an alternative of control aiming the management of pest insect is the maize crop. Biological control with Bacillus thuringiensis has shown good result in the control of Spedoptera frugiperda. The next one is armyworm caused by Spedoptera frugiperda. The larva damage plant tissue by feeding with chewing mouth parts. The potential for feeding black cutworm larva to kill plants, thereby reducing stem and potential yield, makes large infestations of black cutworm, a serious threat to corn and other crops. Larva are active mainly at night. Small larva feed on leaves, creating irregular holes, and can cut small with seedlings. While feeding near or below the soil surface, for instar and larger larvae can cut off corn plants, sometimes dragging the cut plants below ground. Plants cut above the soot apical mesem or growing point usually recover. The next is Bavaria basiana can surprise a Y chart in star larva. Mortality percentage increase with increasing concentrations and time elapsed after all treatments. In spite of the slow action of Bavaria basiana, it revealed high mortality with LC50, 66.73 x102 conidia per milliliter, and LC90, 1003.704 x103 conidia per milliliter. Botrytis and metarhizium fungi are also parasitic on larva and cause high mortality in Java and Sumatra. The next is late well disease caused by Cephalosporium mitis. The primary disease symptom is a rapid welting of maize plants, generally 70 to 80 days before tasseling and until near ripeness. The pathogen can cause damage to sprouting seeds, which result in reduced and delayed seedling emergence. Necrotic lesions may appear on the roots of susceptible maize plants as early as three weeks after inoculation, and at that time, infected seedlings have shortened roots. First, above ground symptoms usually appear approximately 60 days after sowing. Biological control of plant pathogens by microorganisms has been considered a more natural and environmentally acceptable alternative to chemical treatment methods. These microorganisms that display antagonistic effect against target pathogens are capable of survival and propagation in target location. 
in agriculture, the use of bacteria and fungi antagonistic towards plant pathogenic fungi has been suggested as an alternative to chemical pesticide for control of plant disease. Therefore, wide range of different microorganisms was used to surprise lead wild pathogen of maize. Trichoderma rhizianum and Bacillus subtilis were successfully used for biological control of Cephalosporium wild disease of maize. Okay, the next is Fusarium corporate disease caused by Fusarium spiritisoriodes. Biological agents that are effective in controlling Fusarium include other are Bacillus amylocoefficients and Bacillus modifensis. The two biological agents can improve seed quality and re reduce venesum toxin content due to Fusarium infection. The treatment of Pseudomonas bacteria formulated in the form of a seed treatment and applied drug spraying can reduce Fusarium infection and suppress Fusarium toxin production. Pseudomonas found in the root area of corn plants and can function double which products its products, regulators, and corn plants can function double. Its product, growth regulator, and act as a solvent phosphate. Bahrunin et al. say suggest that a uh, fluoride can produce cyanide, which uh, acts a toxin as blocking pathogen development. Manuel Kavaglir et al. Say report that the bacterium azotobacter armeniasus was effective in reducing fusarium in the root area of corn plant. Okay, the next is Atragnosa caused by Colectotrichum graminicola. Atragnosa system symptoms very widely depending on numerous factors such as a genotype, egg of plant, and environmental condition. The symptoms is like a small over or elongated water soak spot which enlarge up to 15 mm long upper on leaf. Next symptom is like a lesion develop a ten center and red brown or a ring border. The next is lesion might process to form a large necrotic dead patch. The next severely infected leaf unsusceptible hybrids may wither and die. The next symptom is like a fungal fruiting bodies develop on the tissues and may produce pink or orange spore masses. Okay, the next is to control anthrognosia caused by collectotrichum. It's like a corn leaf anthrognosia caused by collectotrichum graminicola can be controlled by seed treatment with trichoderma harginium. The result implies that trichoderma harginium can system systemically in this concealing defense response to pathogen infection. Further observation shows the, that the activity of specific cytonolytic enzyme is higher in plants grow from trichoderma sp, treat seeds than in control plants. Okay, next. Okay, this is the last of conclusion. One of the obstacles faced in corn cultivation activities is the prison of pests and diseases that can reduce corn production. Some of the pests that attack corn plantation is corn stem borer, armyworm, cutworm, then some diseases that attack corn plantation is like a lateral disease, fusarium corporate, and anthracnose. The pests and diseases can be managed with biological agents. Okay, thank you. There is the presentation. Any question? Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.